I have notes, I'm sorry. But, uh, good evening, everyone. I'm Matt, I'm Jay's brother. I'm also the best man. Uh, first, thanks to John and Jackie for helping me set all this up, and to Tim for helping me set all this up. On behalf of uh, uh, Jay and Clara, uh, my parents, and the Fernandes, welcome to the start of a wonderful night, and it's certainly going to be the start of uh, a wonderful marriage. Uh, the best speeches always write themselves, and this is no different. Uh, I hope history, or history has helped to write this to some degree. Uh, you know, over the past several weeks, Jay has warned me about 25 to 30 times not to embarrass him. I mean, it's, <laughs> he said, you know, the two, two really important people, Rick and Jim, are going to be in the room with shakes. It's, uh, it's fitting that you're here, we'll exchange notes afterward. So the slideshow, slideshow behind me is a, it's a random collection of um, imagery over the past 30 years of my life with Jay. It's completely random. <laughs> Jay was born on uh, March 29th, uh, 1978. Two years later, I was born. Uh, and you know, for the past 28 years, I thought that I was the star of the show. And it's true, it's not a joke. And until recently I realized that, you know, when Clara came, came along, I was still the star of the show to some degree, but Clara is really the, the star in the sky for Jay. And, uh, she's, uh, she's not only been able to guide him and enlighten him, she's, she's, just, she's just kind of transformed his life. And uh, I'm really lucky to have her in mind. Um, <clears throat> So, you know, I, I have a, a few stories, uh, three quick stories that kind of tell the story of Jay's life from my perspective. Uh, you know, a good brother teaches you things, but you learn from a great brother. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd like to share three things I learned from Jay. The first thing that I learned, the first thing that I learned was how to laugh. <laughs> so, God, we look good up there, don't we? <laughs> so the first thing I learned from Jay was how to laugh. And you know, when I was growing up, and I hope this, this won't take too long, but when I was growing up, I always thought it was, or I initially thought that it was laughter at Jay's expense. And it was never laughter at Jay's expense. Jay, Jay knew exactly what he was, he was doing. He put himself out there. <laughs> he put himself out there because, you know, when he saw people laughing, it, and so, so Jay has this style of laugh. Where you know he laughs from his belly. He, he, uh, <laughs> this is actually not supposed to be too funny. So when, when Jay laughs, he um, it, it comes out of him in such a way that, that uh, you know his, his lips pull over his head, his his, his head uh, contorts into a into a crazy shape. But he has a way of making you laugh as part of it, and um, and you know everything that you're thinking about just melts away, and you can't you just can't help to laugh on your own. It's just, he has an amazing trait. I'm really lucky to uh, to have him in my life. Uh, as a side note, if you'll go to the next picture here, although Jay has had many stages of his life where he's looked like different people, I have also had many stages. In fact, I at one point, I at one point looked like Harry Potter. So. <laughs> My sister used to go out, uh, you know, when, when my parents and brother go out to take the car to a party or whatever, when we were still, all still in, living in the same house. And, uh, you know, Katie would go out in the car, Jay would be right out there after her in the truck, right on her bumper, no covert, no stealth, you know, just was right up there. And, uh, and Katie knew what was going on the whole time. And what Jay said to me afterward once was, what's wrong with letting somebody know that you have their back? Yeah. And Jay's always had my back. And, uh, and, and I'm really lucky for that. I'm really lucky for that. Jay knows, <laughs> Jay knows that he's not perfect. <laughs> but what Jay does is surround himself, what Jay does is surround himself with great people. 
What Jay does is surround himself with great people, he protects people, and he, and he strengthens those around him. And, and we're kind of all, I mean, everybody in this room is really lucky to have Jay in their lives because he really just makes all of us better. We're really, just, we're really lucky for that. And the third thing that Jay taught me was that you don't need to be a jackass or a jerk to make it in life. All you really need to do is two things, and that's protect the people that you love and make them laugh. The things I've learned from Jay all through my entire life. And that's probably why Claire fell in love with him. You know, Claire is very special. <clears throat> she's, uh, she's evolved Jay to some degree. <laughs> Jay's been able to get in touch with this more sensitive side. In fact, Jay and Claire together have been able to get in touch with their childhood side. <laughs> Around Clara, Clara, you are one of the most elegant people I know. You are beautiful. I am so lucky to have you in my life. I mean, you, 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 you kind of make me a better person. I'm really lucky to have that. You're, you're uh, fun to be around, and, and I know I speak for my family when I say I love you. And uh, I, I think Jay's a very lucky person. So uh, I know that Jay wants me to get off as soon as possible. So the one thing that I want to impart to you both is that. Friends come and go, except for some really, really good friends that we both have. Uh, but family's always there. Family's always around. And uh, yeah, family has a, a, an instinct, uh, kind of a best interest in making sure that you have a happy, healthy life and a happy, healthy marriage. Uh, and although we may not always be right, we are. We certainly always. We certainly always care. And um, we certainly love you. So. My parting advice here is to let your family help you and ask for help along, you know, along your own journey. Because when it comes down to it, when you have a family of your own and you have kids of your own, hopefully you'll have kids that grow up with a brother as good as you are to me. So, so that's my speech. Here's the Brian Room. <laughs> Thank you.